Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 is up 0.28% today. Uh, pretty good day, actually, altogether. We start off down and came back. And the main driver for today was the retail sales for January up 3%. Uh, that was a really good number. We haven't seen something like that for almost two years now. Uh, great motion in the market after that report came out. You know, we have hot jobs. We now have a hot retail sales market. Uh, so that kind of pushes the fear of recession farther down the road. Uh, and then, you know, even the CPI report that came out yesterday had some good things in it. They have a thing called super core inflation. So you got top line inflation, which is everything for CPI. And then they take out food and energy. And then and then you've got core. And super core is where they take out rents. And rents are kind of controversial, mainly because of the way they calculate it and how lagged it is. Uh, so super core focuses more, I think, on services. Uh, and that's a really big concern area, I think, for uh, you know, from an inflationary standpoint, and Supercore did fairly well yesterday, and so that that helped the market yesterday too. So, you've got this situation where you know there's this possibility that this teeter totter of recession and inflation that we've been kind of going back and forth on could kind of equal each other out, and that's where you get that kind of Goldilocks, you know, soft landing zone. Uh, and really, if you look at the data right now, that's what's happening. Uh, whether that continues to happen uh, is hard to tell because the rate increases that they're doing, you know, now aren't felt for some time. And so, you know, are we already overdone it on the rates or not? You know, we'll see what happens. I would say we're probably okay looking at how strong the economy is. Things are a lot better than expected. I mean, Cisco just reported earnings and after hour, their stock's up 8% because they beat both on earnings and revenues. Uh, and again, first quarter earnings were supposed to be problematic and bring the market down and all these things, you know, is what we were hearing, you know, last year at the end of the year. That certainly has not been true. And I think because of this kind of balance between this recessionary fears and this uh, inflationary fears isn't you know, coming through to be really one higher than the other. And that's where you kind of get into that Goldilocks zone. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. What does, I think, scare me and scare the market too, is just the Federal Reserve governors keep coming out and saying these really aggressive things. And, and really, you know, the rate increases that they're doing haven't had full impact yet. And they're talking about doing more. Tomorrow, we're going to have two of the more aggressive uh, uh, governors speaking or doing some interviews. Uh, and so, you know, we'll have to keep in mind that neither one of these uh, people tomorrow actually votes on, uh, you know, how much uh, increase we would have. Uh, but their job is to try to bring down the market in the sense of, uh, you know, we don't want super easy money, which is what the market can cause if it gets really hot. Uh, and so they try to keep going. And it's going to make it very difficult, unfortunately, during this period of time uh, for the market to really run because the Fed keeps coming out and pushing on you know, the buttons that they need to, to try to bring that down. At some point in time, the Fed will stop this. Uh, I would assume it's sometime in the second half of this year, unless inflation just continues to roll. roll. And uh, I, I do think that there is some underappreciation for this pent up demand. Uh, this is a pandemic. This is a different time frame. Uh, and that could create a higher interest rate scenario for the Fed because, you know, people keep spending. So um, we certainly saw that in today's retail sales report. So anyway, that's what happened today. Uh, good day altogether. Markets up. I think that's great. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Thank you very much.